If you use Canvas Discussions a lot, there's a new feature that you're going to like. But you do need to turn it on, so begin by clicking on Settings. Navigate over to the Feature Options tab. And then find the Discussions Announcements Redesign field and make sure you enable it. I've turned mine on so I can show you these features. This is in beta mode, so there might be a little glitch, a few glitches here and there, but it's set to be deployed this summer, so it is in pretty good shape. Once you've enabled it, click over here to Discussions, and then find a discussion board that you already have to check out its new features. Click its name to open it. You'll first notice that we have a new toolbar up here at the top. And it's got a few new features. By default, it's going to look much like discussion boards always do. Your prompt is going to be up at the top, and then as you scroll down, you'll start seeing your students' threaded replies. But let me show you what these new features do. The first thing I'm going to show you is viewing the split screen. So if you turn this on, once you've clicked that, scroll down to a student submission and click the view replies. What it does is it sort of pops out the initial student's post and then any threaded replies there afterwards. If you don't like this view, however, you can always just go back to viewing them in line like they always were. So some people like the split screen idea. Another one is you can have the threads expand by default. So when you click on expand threads, now everything on this board has been expanded. So you can just scroll down and read through the whole conversation. Some of the replies, especially longer ones, will take a moment to load, but they'll all be showing there in one long uh, you can also sort now, which we hadn't had before. So by default, um, I have mine set so that the oldest is first. You could also sort it so that the newest is first. So it just sort of helps you kind of see which ones came in when. Probably the feature most people are excited about, though, is that now you can see all of a student's contributions to Discussion Board just by searching for the student's name. It'll tell you how many results were found, and then you can see all of both their initial posts and all of their replies in one place. Back to the main Discussion Board. And then when you open the menu, there is a few, a few new options, such as the ability to mark all is read so you don't have to go one at a time or mark all as unread if you sort of lost your place and you want to start over. Um, most of the other ones we've already had it's just a bit more of a readable menu now.